Hi guys, Chelsea here from Green Our Planet, and today we're gonna turn our simple wicking system into an aquaponics tank. Some materials that we're going to need are rock wool or sponge to plant our seeds in, some seeds to get started, our light so plants can photosynthesize, a pool noodle to float our plants on the top of the tank, a pH kit, some water dechlorinator, which is gonna remove all the chlorine from our water. This is just simple tap water and a two and a half gallon tank from Petco. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is get our rock wool started. So the rock wool is our volcanic rock that's heated really hot and spun like cotton candy, so it's really dry. So what we wanna do is take a few pieces and we're gonna put it into water to soak while we're getting ready. We're gonna give that about five to 10 minutes and we're gonna check our pH. So we're gonna use our test bottle here. We're gonna fill it about halfway with water. And then we're gonna use our liquid. So it's between about three to five drops. We're gonna use four. We're gonna put on the lid, shake it up. Now when we're planting our plants in the garden, we want a pH of about 6.0. For fish tanks, we want a pH of about 7.0. And so somewhere in the happy middle is where we're aiming for. Now on my pH kit, we have a little chart here and we are going to see what our pH is at. Now it looks a little high at basic, which is about 8.0. And something you can do to adjust your pH is use pH up or pH down. These are just acids and bases that are gonna move your pH up and down. Now I will forewarn you, be very careful, a little bit goes a long way. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit of pH down and then we're good to go. So now that we have lowered the pH for our fish and the plants, we're gonna go back to that rock bowl we have soaking. And we're also gonna use an experiment um, from a sponge you might have already in your kitchen. Now I've taken a bigger sponge and cut it into smaller pieces and you're gonna use your kitchen scissors, make sure to ask an adult for help, to poke a hole in the center for our seeds to sit in. Today we're gonna to be using lettuce seeds to plant our rock wool in the sponge. And we're gonna make sure that we use about two to three seeds for each little hole. And the reason we do two to three seeds per piece of planting material is because sometimes the seeds don't germinate. We're gonna go ahead and cut our flotation devices out of the pool noodle. We're gonna use those same kitchen scissors and we're gonna create just about a one inch little donut. I've already gone ahead and cut our additional flotation over here. We're gonna take our little rock wool and we're just gonna stick it down inside and you'll see it perfectly fits and the bottom is gonna hang down. So when we put it on top of our fish tank, it's still gonna get the water up through the rock wool and our seeds will start to germinate. Now on the top of our rock wool, you're gonna to wanna to fold it over so that it's a little bit closed and the seeds are actually seeing the light. With our sponges, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna squish them down in, make sure that they fill out the majority of the center, and then we're gonna make sure the bottom is hanging down, put that in as well. All right, so we went ahead and put the rock wool and the sponges in our noodles. They're on the top of our fish tank. You can see I had one from last week that's already started to grow its roots, which is really cool that you get to see them growing down into the tank. And it's okay if your fish wants to eat them as well. So now we need to add the light. Since this will be in my bedroom, it's not gonna be getting the sunlight from outside. So I went ahead and bought an LED light from Petco that has the right spectrum for our plants to grow. Now this just simply attaches to the back of the fish tank. And we'll plug it in and we're good to go. So today we learned how to build an aquaponics tank, which means that our fish is producing the waste that our plants need to survive, AKA the nutrients. Typically, we plant our seeds in soil, which has all the organic matter our plants need to survive and grow big and strong. We also have learned about hydroponics, which is when we plant our seed 
in water and add nutrients to the water directly. This can come in a powdered form, which you would just mix together depending on the size of your unit or your hydroponic system. Thanks for joining me today and we hope to see you next time.